Good. Pat the Popper here. We've got a little bit something different. We're actually going to be doing a mail day. I uh, see this as kind of a thing, and well, as you can see, I get a pretty decent amount of cards coming in. Got some orders and stuff I just uh, apparently got fulfilled. More than I thought we were going to get in. I didn't know what this one was, but then I saw the person that sent it to me. You don't get to. Sorry, guys. But uh, we were chatting, and they, they wanted to treat me a little something, so that's going to be our last one. Let's, uh, let's go ahead. We're going to open up a little bit of mail. If you guys feel like sending me anything, this is actually my uh, P.O. box, so feel free. You know, it would be uh, interesting. If you want me to open anything for you, go ahead, send it there. And uh, let's uh, pop right into this first one. Now, if there's any shipping stuff in there, unfortunately, I don't want my real name out there quite yet, you know. Let's see. So, we got ourselves Shadow Spear. Yeah, I got this one off of eBay. Not too bad. I think I only paid 10 bucks for it. I think it was going for like 20 and this one was on bid, so somehow I ended up snagging that. This one's definitely going right in my commander deck. One of the biggest issues my opponents have when I get my sliver deck going is that all my uh, stuff is actually indestructible at one point. Well, for a bunch of points. So I just put out uh, Sliver Hive Lord. All slivers have indestructible. So uh, pretty, pretty juicy. And I've fought against a couple of people. Fought against. I've played against a couple of people that have had indestructible... I want to say it was dark steel plate and uh that was super annoying go ahead let's take a good look at this looks like we're in pretty good condition i'd say this is like near mint minty wonder if i got that little nick there i wonder if that was me if it was i'll take it this is still hot and fresh good looking card for one, put it on the battlefield, it's uh, an artifact, so I mean, it's kind of a pain in the ass for people to deal with. I mean, disenchants are uh, more rare, you know, it's artifacts are definitely lower on the totem pole. Uh, it gets 1-1, one, one, trample, and lifelink. Now that right there is just dope. Permanence your opponent's control, lose hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Equip too, so I mean... You don't even have to equip it to be able to do that one ability on it. I don't believe so from everything I read. Now, on top of that, if it dies, you just go ahead and equip it something else, and then that's got 1-1 one, one li Trample Lifelink. That's, that's a solid card. And for so cheap, even if I get that in my first card draw, if this is my opening hand, I can play it. You know, that's, that's nice. That's a, that's a solid-ass card. A weapon of darkness for a warrior of light. No, it's mostly going to be a sliver that has spears stuck in its ass. That's that's what it's more like. It's like when you see a narwhal. Uh, I guess I'll just stick it back in this. This looks like it's actually a dragon shield sleeve. This is pretty nice. You know what? I'm not going to keep it in here. I don't know what it's made of. I say pretty nice, but... I've had nice stuff that, you know, didn't turn out very good. So let me grab out a pack of sleeves. There we go. Whole sealed pack of uh, acid-free, you know, all the good stuff. No PVC, no acid, you know, good quality stuff right there. Let's go ahead put this in some good quality stuff. That's just for holding for right now. I guess we'll leave that up in frame. Why the heck not? So that one... Oh, look. I even get a hard loader back out of it. Ah, there you go. I just got myself a uh, 44 cent hard loader. Hot dang. Look at me go. I'm getting all sorts of goodies. This one. Look at all these stamps. Got yourself a Maine Coon Cat, Burmese Cat, along with a Northern Sea Lion, and Antarctic Treaty. Is that... I don't know if that's cool. Looks like a cool stamp. I... Shit, I don't know. I'm kind of not a big fan of the Antarctic Treaty. 
Uh, I wish that we could fight over that. That would be kind of cool to get, like, you know, big world war going over all those resources. Uh, Antarctic Treaty is that no one can um, settle um, a country's land based on the uh, Antarctic land base. So, like, you, you can't... America can't just show up and plant a flag and be like, Hey, this is New New York. It doesn't work like that. You, you can only um, have people living on Antarctica that are either native, which there aren't any, or um, scientific purposes only. So it's, I don't know, sort of ridiculous. I, I don't know. Same thing with the moon. Uh, you can't, nobody gets to own the moon. It's sort of jank. Either way, hold on, let me pull this out. Cool, I got my finger over it. Oh, there we go. Pull this stuff out. Let's off to the side real quick. Bang. Let's, uh, where do I fold this? Right here. Yeah, yeah, this will work. Okay. So. <clears throat> uh -huh. Hey, you guys like the music? Is that holding you over? Turn it up a little bit. It's weird, because in person, it sounds super loud, but whenever I do my editing, it all comes through pretty well. But, alright, so in this package, we got ourselves Cosmos Elixir, Cosmos Elixir, Foil Cosmos Elixir, which was actually second, you know, first cheapest, tied for cheapest, in uh, moderate play. We had a light play for a little bit more expensive, but non-foil. Heartstone. I'm really looking forward to taking that out. As you can see, I've got six Arcane Sanctum. Oh, what's that, Pat? What is that? I've never seen it. Well, you will. 53 cents. There's cheap, but I've got some good stuff for cheap, like Savage Lands. That one's actually a buck seventy. A little bit more expensive, but that one's pretty dang good. 2016, as you see. Cloud Shredder. Now, I actually feel like a bit of a chump on this. I, as soon as I, like, hit, you know, submit, I realized, shoot, I've definitely got Cloud Shredder slivers. And even if I wasn't sure of it, a couple days later, I certainly was because uh, I opened up more Time Spot Remastered and got Cloud Shredder slivers. So, this is kind of a jank way to do this. So this is the one you didn't care about getting messed up, huh? These guys... Shipping via TCG first class, huh? Let's see on this side. Okay, amazing discoveries, huh? That's what it is. Amazing uh, discovery that you sent me cards in an unsecure way. Okay, well. I'm better with knife than you are with your tape. Son! Oh, they didn't even put anything in this hard loader. What the hell, guys? That's... That's jank. Oh, and so is the way you did this. What the... That's... That's not cool, man. Super not cool. Super duper. Super duper ooper not cool. What the heck, guys? What? It's like a team bag? I guess? Ah, uh, This is... Yo, less is more. Less is more. Maybe they wouldn't have charged me for shipping if uh, they use less tape. Jeez, guys. It's an amazing discovery to get into this. I almost want to save this bag for how much freaking work I just had to go through. No, it's got a little sticky open to it already. Okay, so... Our first Cosmos Elixir. Looks pretty good. A little schmutzy on the side. A little, little corner action. Does that pick up? Meh, not too much. Looks pretty good. I'd say that's our... Uh, moderate play? What, what do they classify that as? Light play? If that's LP, dang. Yo... Those are both near mint. I don't know what the heck they're talking about. Uh, how does it pop up? Uh, yeah, you, you can tell that's a foil, huh? Jumps up a little bit there, eh? Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Same thing for the top, but 
Got what I paid for. Perfect condition besides that uh, curving there. Yeah, this is a solid, solid card. Oh, snap. This is in way better condition than I expected, too. Damn. Yeah, this is... This is pack fresh. It's a little right here. Is that pick up right there? You can see it on the line right there. Just, just a little bit of a pock. Little, little indentation you pick up right there. Otherwise, I mean, dang, solid. Oh yeah, I don't even. This is pretty rare. People don't see uh, these very often. Heartstone. Three colorless artifact. The cost of each creature ability requiring an activation cost is reduced by one colorless. This cannot reduce an ability's generic mana cost to less than one colorless. Now, this is probably going to go in my sliver deck once I get a sliver queen. Sliver queen has the ability that um, two colorless put a 1-1 one, one sliver token into play. That brings it right down to one. Basil Sliver, sacrifice the sliver, gain two black mana. So you got yourself real fast right there, an infinite mantelope in Sliver. That's the secret here, in Sliver. So Arcane Sanctum, it's a triple land. It enters Battlefield Tap, triple land. Yeah, cheap, but it's triple lands. I love this stuff. You guys know me. I'm a big land guy, and, well, now I'm definitely, like, more of a land guy. Look at that. Yeah. Six Arcane Sanctum. Gotta say, I'm pretty uh, pleased to see these. It's like having Triomes, but they're less searchable. These ones do say land. It doesn't say uh, Forest, Plains, Swamp, or what is this? Plains, Island, Swamp. Doesn't say any of that stuff on it. It just uh, a little bit less of a downgrade. That's why, you know, they're 50 cents. What are these? Arcane Sanctum. Near mint condition, and I definitely agree with you there. 53 cents. I don't think I could have gotten them much cheaper than that. They are out of um, Adventures in Forgotten Realms Commander. So, still, solid buy. Really pleased with those. And because on the price, I can kind of kick those around to some friends. Savage Lands, same kind of deal. It's uh, actually out of Commander 16. This one's a little bit older, so that why it uh, had the higher purchase price. That one's $1.70 for a single moderate play, they say, for this, huh? It's, I don't know. I don't, I don't see moderate play at all. Is it back all jacked? Weird. Oh, well, there's, there's a line. Right there, you can, yeah, right above the A, you can see it light up right there, nice little crease. I'd say that's probably the only thing. I'd put that in, oh, uh, you can feel it, just a hair. Whatever. Not too bad, I mean, buck seventy for it, that's going to slide right into my uh, commander deck. If it's not this one, well, it'll be the next one, or the next. You know, I might uh, just put that in the binder. That's one of those things where if they can't afford to trade up for a Triome, maybe they use that. You know, it's nice to have a little bit of slough in the binder, you know. Stuff that's not worthless, but uh, stuff that's not, you know, the 5 or 10 20 $50 card that you're aching to get out of there. You need something to kind of just shore up the deal a little bit, and that's what uh, could help out. Same thing with some of these Cosmos Elixirs. Not the foil, Pat's keeping it. And Cloud Shredder Sliver. For a mountain and plains, you get a 1-1 one, one sliver creature with sliver creatures you control have flying in haste. That's just very good. That's short and simple. That's just very good. So that's why I bought it. Uh, let's go ahead and throw a couple of these into some quick sleeves. I'll actually put both Cosmos Elixirs right in here. A Hearthstone gets to go by itself. Stick that over my Shadow Spear, though. This Cosmos Elixir. Let me actually, uh. Let me do a thing. 
So the thing I just did was get some of these fancy sleeves recently. I didn't show this in any opening videos, but these are actually Dragon Shield Perfect inner sleeves. So it's got your regular pocket, like a penny sleeve, but then it's got this stuck on one side. So what you do, check this out, right? You take the card, you stick it in. I'd say you probably go about 75% in. You know, oh, pretty deep, but not all the way, maybe 80%. You take this bad boy over here on the back, right? You slide it in. You just slide it in real nice and gentle-like. Just, just go ahead and slowly tuck this all in together. And then, boom. This thing is just a gorgeous, perfect inner sleeve. Now, I use these along with your Dragon Shield outer sleeves, a matte backing. I've got uh, pathways in my deck, so I've just got to use uh, uh, a back, and it has to be matte if you want to do an anything like a tournament, you know? Not that I'm trying to get into, like, CEDH. I'm not trying to go super high level or anything, but I do at least want to, you know, be up to snuff when I'm playing against other folks. And Cloud Shredder. Cloud Shredder! I'm a mom shredder. Nah, I'm kidding. Well, there was that one. Let's just keep going with these cards, huh, shall we? That's a different story for a different day. A little sip off of the water. Yeah. Hope you guys stay hydrated. <coughs> Wrong pipe. Oh, jeez. Oh, hold on. I'm going to cough. <coughs> Ah, I wasn't lying. I told you. Okay. Oh, this is a nice thick one. Look at that. You can see, if you've ever bought from TCG Player Direct, one of the things, uh, they, they kind of just jam everything in there as heavy as they can. This things, I'd be, I would hate to have someone like throw this at me, slap me with it. Bah, not cool. Not cool, man. Not cool, man. What is cool? Taking this knife. Fancy one. What is this? Pure Komachi. High definition. Coated carbon stainless steel. Schwing! It's just actually a really decent knife because it's got the both actions. It's the only thing I have that would work as a good like letter opener. It's long and it's pointy. Okay. Ooh, ooh, let's see what we got, guys. Let's see what we got. Okay, I don't think anything says my name right here. Cool. Get that one out here to the side. Slide that off. You don't need that. Boom! This is the kind of stuff you need. Yeah! Oh, I like the way this is presented. Oh, gorgeous. Just tucked right in there. It's, you know, I'm, I'm glad that it gets here safe. You know. Okay. Fold that right down. And here we go. Okay. So... Order summary, a 1507 plus 199 shipping. How do I get it so low for so many cards? Well, you got to go in. Make sure if you're using TCG Player, I don't have an affiliate link yet. Hopefully that's coming soon enough, guys and gals. Are there any? Nah, analytics says no, not really. So all y'all out there, how's that make you feel better? I don't have a TCG Player link yet, but one day, one day I hope. Now... You got to make sure you're optimizing your cart. That's the biggest thing. Make sure you're matching sellers. You'll save yourself a bunch of money. Like, honestly, 15%? Yeah. I mean, you, yeah, you match up two, three sellers that you didn't have matched up. You make sure that you get in the right condition of cards. You know, if you want everything foil, you got to make sure you click off those boxes and you read that. If you want to... You know, make sure it's all exactly the same way you had ordered it. That's pretty much the way it's set up. But uh, you save pretty decently by getting it all from the same peoples. So, you know, I'll put up, put that right up here. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Right there. And let's pop this open. We'll go through a few things. There's probably a better way to do it than what I just did, but... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely worked. Ah, 
peel it backward like a sock. Oh yeah, and they're what side? Are are they loaded? How? Ah. Okay, cool. That was that was what it was. Is what that just was. So we've got Seaside Citadel. This one was going for. It does not tell me in the way that they ship this stuff. Right out of TCG. Oh, it's because they combine a different, uh, all sorts of different stuff. No worries. So, same kind of deal. These are some of those Alara Trilands that they just reprinted recently. Apparently, that's where these all came from. The uh, other ones that I had out here, Arcane Sanctum, that also was one. Same thing with Savage Lands. Those are some of those triomes that don't have the three different land types and no cycling but notably cheaper. These ones were running in, everything pretty much was, I wanna say Savage Lands was the only expensive one, which came in at $1.73, I believe it was. Now these ones, same kind of deal, these were probably 50 cents each, but they're probably gonna get reprinted here and there. They just were only in the Commander product for Adventures in Forgotten Realms. So there were a notable amount of these when I went to go pick them up. Stick those right down here. I'm actually going to need a bit more space. So, Crumbling Necropolis, same kind of dealio. It was uh, reasonably cheap, but this one came out of Commander 16. Solid dredge, dredge scape sliver. Now, these things are just going to make all my slivers annoying. Unearth 2. Return it from your graveyard to the battlefield. Haste, exile at next end step. Or if it were leave. Unearth only as a sorcery. That's uh, pretty nice right there. Uh, H2O. Water, water, water. So um, being able to bring things back if you've already got it in my graveyard. If I don't have, you know, my regrowths, my primal commands. You know, I, if I can't get stuff back out. You know, if I'm not playing... If I don't have in my hand or access to those cards, boom, I can get all this stuff out. If I need to be able to just get a gem hide back for a turn, fix all my mana, you know, if, uh, any of them shenanigans. I think this will probably turn out to be pretty helpful. All right, I should check the condition on these ones. Back is looking pretty good. See no issues. Same thing on the front. Very good. MH1. So, you know, it's aged a little bit. They were all pretty decent. I think uh, this one here, Distant Melody, was probably the most expensive out of these uh, these ones I got off of this order here. This one was about $4. So for three colorless and a blue, Sorcery Speed, choose a creature type. Draw a card for each permanent you control of that type. Bing, bang, boom. If you don't think that's helpful in a sliver deck, well, you could just go go away. What is that? 08. I don't know that symbol. Don't care. Wait. Oh, it'll be right on here. Distant Melody. That's Morning Tide. See? I knew that would be helpful. There's that basil sliver I was talking about. So, two colorless and a black. You get a 2-2 two, two sliver creature. All slivers have sacrificed this creature. Add two black mana to your mana pool. Fascinating. These creatures display the paradox of tenacity and purpose self-destruction. I have sought to breed into my thralls. Endrix are master breeder. Out of the original time spiral block, so that's an 06 right there. And, ooh, dropping it. I don't want to drop this. This one, this one, my guy, came right out of Tempest. I, I know that symbol, because, you know, it's like a storm. So, for one colorless and a black is 1-1 one, one Summon Sliver, which is a sliver creature. That's what that means. Yeah, that's what that translates to in the new uh, codex. Uh, each sliver, so if you're playing against a sliver deck, this does help them. Each sliver gains two colorless, regenerate this creature. Now, if you go ahead, tie that in with Basil Sliver right there, where you've got infinite mana, infinite creatures as well. Bang! You are just 
doing some naughtiness. All sliver-based shenanigans. We do see some action here on the back. There's a little bit of some pocking here on the left there. Just looks like it picked it up right by the uh, symbol. Same thing up at the top. This has definitely got a little bit of wear. But all in all, for the uh, undisclosed price, I, geez, guys, I kind of wish they would tell me more. 72 cents. Let's go ahead and guess it was 72 cents. That, that seems like it jumps out. For being 24 years old in this kind of condition, shoot, man. Pat is pleased right there. So the reason I'm putting some in these fancy dragon shield sleeves right off is because I know I'm putting them into my deck like right off. I've already got some of them proxied up. So what I do when I proxy stuff is I take a card, usually just some common or something, and I'll go onto the internet there and I type in proxy an MTG card. And I look around for the one that's, I think, MTG prints. And uh, that one is one of the best sites I have found. You pretty much can just copy and paste from your TCG player card, put that right into your um, prints site there, type in how many of each one you want, select the edition on like the next page, print it, and then you just cut them out. Like it's, you know, a little piece of paper with all the information, you know, it's the exact picture of the card. You just slide it in with the other one. So I got some of those in my deck right now. That way I couldn't, you know, play test. I was gold fishing. I think that's what they call it. Make sure that's nice and tight. God, this is just so nice. They're not kidding. Those are perfect fits. And I know I'm going to get Dredge Scape Sliver in there. Along with one of these... Oh, oh you guys are going to love this next one. I'm actually... I ordered a number of these. What did I get of those? I want to say six. I ordered six of these next one I'm going to show you. No, I'm going to save that to the end. You don't get to see that. Oh, yeah, how bad of a tease is that? Oh, I bet you just hate it right now. No, you don't. You, if you stuck around at this point, you don't hate any of it. You love all of what's happening. Go ahead, get this right in here, too. Bing, bang, boom. So nice. Oh, no. I, there it is. It had just folded over. You can't have that. Everything's got to be just right. You know, if you're sleeving it up, you got to make sure it's on there right. You feel me? You feel me. Okay. Slide into the next packet here. Is going to be some more Seaside Citadel. I did get a number of these. These ones were notably cheap. So I figured... Give some of those out. Keep some of those longer term. Those are uh, just reprinted in Adventures in Forgotten Realms Commander decks. So it's not like they're not being reprinted pretty quickly. Um, I might see a slow rise in those. But at the same time, it's nice to be able to trade those off. And, well, you know, put them in decks and stuff. It's a low-grade Triumph. So if I'm making some other Commander decks, if I don't want to take apart what I'm using, just... Be able to slide that in. You know. Shoot. I mean, for the price. They weren't even 50 cents a piece. So, whatever on that. Now. These next ones. Alright. Go ahead. Put this on top. Got ourselves a quick sliver. This one's uh, coming out of Legions. You know. That symbol stands right out. Same thing with uh, Scourge. The Onslaught. That whole block right there definitely worked for me. That's when I was playing Magic. Just got into it. Was loving it. Living it, as it were. One colorless and a green for a 1-1 sliver creature. You may play quick sliver anytime you can play an instant. And any player may play sliver cards anytime he or she can play an instant. So, all slivers have flash. Including this one. That's, yep, uh-huh. That's right. All slivers have flash, so that means all the stuff that I'm able to tap and get land. Oh yeah, all this stuff getting nasty, getting nasty. That's gonna go up in a sleeve. Let's do that right off of the top. Boop, get that right in. Once you get into the hang of it, these are actually pretty easy to do. 
our next pull is gonna no, pull. It's not like I just pulled it. I pulled it off a TCG player for a small fee, is what I pulled it from. Hibernation Sliver. A blue and a black for a 2 2 sliver. Who is this one out of? Hibernation. Where are you at? Hibernation. Stronghold. I don't know why I don't know Stronghold. Uh, I guess that was just a bit before my time. Yeah, 98. Just just, just a bit before my time. It gets uh, Each sliver gets paid to life, return it to its owner's hand. So I can just bounce all my slivers whenever I need to. Bang a rang. Especially in Commander. That's a whole lot of uh, life I can use to do that. Especially if I'm able to just keep putting them back into play. My uh, commander is the first sliver. So if I have the mana, I can just keep putting it back into play. These other cards that I'm bouncing back. And then uh, there you go. I just keep cascading. That's super nice. Super duper nice. Super duper pooper nice. Hey, so. Gonna go ahead. Get that into a sleeve. And yeah, that's right. I'm trying to be coy with you. I, I don't know why. You you've already seen the card. If you've been paying attention, if you've been honing in there with a hawk's eye, then you already know that it's actually telepathy. That's right. I don't understand how these cards were so ridiculously cheap. Uh, I mean, these were like fifty cents each. I I forty three. 43 cents so one blue just one blue just a single blue for an enchantment which at this point super hard to you know to just annoying your opponents play with their hands revealed what information oh my oh my oh my oh my yeah I mean look at that look at that this was like three dollars I don't understand why this is so cheap I really just don't get it. I I think this was the only printing of it. I, I'd have to double check, you know. Uh, if I'm wrong, go ahead, put it in the notes below. Maybe pull one out, that way it goes right in the deck. The rest of these are going to go in uh, the trade and or gift binder. You know what? I know where one of these is going. I'm going to give some of these out as gifts. Oh, you thought you were going to be... You thought you were going to out-nice me? You thought you could out-nice me, guy. Oh, you can't. I'm so nice. Have a great night. Hope you have a safe flight. Yeah, you can't out-nice me. My arms get big from lugging grocery bags for old ladies. Yeah, that's right. My feet hurt from walking up and down this street, making sure everything's safe at night. Make you feel right, safe, and tight. Sorry, just quoting. So, I think there's going to be a little break right there. It actually just gave me a notification here on my recording device, a.k.a. Samsung phone, that uh, I reached the maximum 4 gig file size. It's just going to keep recording. So, you'll probably see some weird jankiness in the editing. It's not like I tricked you by pulling out something else. That I paid for. Actually, this next one, this is going to be our last one for the night. This is our last package. <clears throat> this, right here, I got sent specifically to me. Oh, oh, no. Actually, I don't know if you can do the tracking. Whatever. I don't think anybody cares that much. This was sent to me by MTG Attitude. That's right. Big shout out, guy. I got to say, you know, it's been great talking. We exchanged a couple of emails. We've uh, chatted a few times on DJ Longhair's live streams, and it's just been great. Me and that guy get along real well, and uh, he's not terribly far from where I am. He uses a uh, Massachusetts address somewhere up in there. Really nice guy. Really nice guy. So um, I uh, actually was just getting his package ready to send out to him. I said, uh, hey, man, let me go ahead and give you something. Uh, he said he was going to send me a, who is it, Clear Branch Loft, Clearwater Pathway, a full art pathway there. That I opened up some packs while we were doing a live stream last week there and um, inspired him so dang much he had to open up some packs. 
And he got one of the cards that I was hoping to see. And he's like, hey, man, let me go ahead and send this to you. But it, I, I think this is... This is more than that. Yeah, it felt like Dave, you were being a dirty dog. You, you're trying to, uh, you're trying to treat me too good here. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what a guy. He is a sweet fella. I don't want no one to say bad about him. Oh, what a, what a. He's keeping it positive too. Whole community. Ah. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be opening this one. I am going to save this pack opening for probably this Thursday coming up because we'll we'll be right back in that same thing. I'm going to keep this pack sealed. I'm going to send him one. Be nice and then we'll we'll do it together. Ah, that'll be that'll be nice. I think that would be great. Ah, boy. Oh. Yeah, River Glide and Lava Glide Pathway. Absolutely gorgeous looking quality here. Beauty. Beauty and to think these were in that man's big, strong hands, and he didn't crush it. You know, he's got a grip like a goddamn gorilla. And, you know, this thing came in so perfect looking. Oh, it's just, he, he doesn't do any of that. He knows how to treat his cards better than I do. Ooh, beauty. Beauty. What a guy. What a guy. Now, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you the treats I'm sending you yet. Oh, don't think you can... You can tune in here and get any sneak peek. Oh, nobody. I want you to be as surprised as I was. So, hey. Thank you, uh, everyone, for sticking around at this point, if you have. Uh, we'll be doing this from time to time. I've got a couple of more orders coming in, actually. So, uh, you'll probably see one of these every couple of weeks. A little bit longer format when I get them in. I'm uh, usually pretty good about, like I said, merging everything together so that... Um, they all come in a nice big package like that. So um, if you liked this, go ahead. Please give me a thumbs up in the comment section below. If you did not like it, give me a thumbs down and tell me why you did not like it. If there was something you thought I could do better. If you, if you could tell me, say, hey, Pat, you know, you you were just too, too dang happy. I thought you were talking too fast. And you were just so pleased when you were doing stuff. I hate it. Well... Okay, you're in the wrong place, but, you know, put it in the comment section. That does help with the YouTube algorithm. Much appreciated. Thank you, haters. To everybody else, love you very much. I hope to see you in the next video, and be well.